one and all on this bright and sunny day. I did a, a Smith song back a ways, a month ago maybe. I don't think it's been that long. And uh, it was the uh, last night I dreamt somebody loved me. And in the comments, I, I got a comment about I should not talk so much over the video. And I get that. I do yak a little bit. And I've watched the video since then. And I did try to not interrupt things too much and generally explain how I felt about the uh, music. But I got a comment from Oscillate Wildly. And we've been back and forth a little bit in the comments, just talking, trying to uh, figure out what each other think about this whole situation. He suggested, and I think he, because it's hard to tell from a name like Oscillate Wildly, suggested I listen to a song. And that song was... Are you here? Momentary lapse of... Some girls are bigger than others. And uh, I was going to do that, and I listened to it. But I decided, no, I won't do that. I'm going to do The Queen is Dead, which is off the same, same album, which is... What is the album name? I think that's the name of the album. Didn't write that down, but I think that's the name of the album, The Queen is Dead. So I'm going to do that and try to explain why I... I uh, don't really particularly care for this type of song. Not necessarily just the Smiths, but uh, these types of uh, pop songs. It's kind of pop. So let's listen to that. And I even have the lyrics here, which I read through the lyrics. And they, they don't, you know, it, there's a couple of clever little things in the lyrics, and that's fine. Uh, but I wanted to explain what I don't like about this type of music. So I'm going to pause now and again just to try to, so I'm not talking over things. Uh, so here we go. I think here we go. Where are you there? Oh, do I have to put that down? I think I do. All right, I do. Uh, the lyrics, I mean. So uh, the queen is dead. I'm musically oriented. What I'm hearing, if, if you're lyrically oriented, do me a favor, listen to the music as if you were into music. A drum beat. And some bass. Just kind of. The music is just carrying the lyrics along, which in pop songs, that's usually what happens. Still just the basic, not a lot going on. So that's what bores me. Since I don't pay much attention to lyrics. I mean, it's not horrible. And I can see where people would be digging it. Especially if you're into lyrics. And they're meaning so much to you. 
So I'm trying to just explain. And this sounds very 80s. There's a lot of music. Those days it sounds like this. And every decade is guilty of this. Not, I'm not picking on the 80s necessarily. See, I mean, I'm bopping. <laughs> so it's, I'm not going to It's not horrible. Right now, they're making me think of U2, and I do not like U2. But they're from the same time frame, I think, aren't they? Pretty much. I was going to play. Something that I... Hard to pick out, though. something that I would consider musical and not so lyrical to show my side of the story. I'm trying to find something that's a quick life. I don't know how we will do. Well, I mean, I've done a couple of videos. This is going to be a little over the top, but I'm going to try this. I don't even know what it sounds like, but... I want it to be a long song. This is kind of the... Alright, right. what I picked, and this is a quick pick trying to, before this song ends. See, it's, are, you, are you with me? You know, the music is... It's okay, you know, they're jamming along, but it's nothing that interests me particularly. Uh, again, it's not horrible, you I know, mean, I can have that in the background and I can sit and bop along, and it's fine. Now the lyrics, I, like I said, I read the lyrics, so I know what was going on in the song. A couple of, a couple of, it was kind of clever, I agree. So, I'm going to work. And again, like I say, I'm not picking on the Smiths or Marty in general. Just any music that's like this. Just your basic to me it's just kind of boring and I think the uh, last night I well, the last night I dreamt somebody loved me that was even more so as far as the music when it was not a whole lot going on way less than what's going on here for sure so now, uh, what I picked was Brand X from the album Do They Hurt, and the song is Cambodia, and I don't even really remember what this sounds like. Hopefully it's one of their better songs, <laughs> but we shall see. All right, are you going to automatically play? Maybe, maybe not. No, you are not. Okay, so, so that was that, and now... Uh, so, so this is where I'm coming from. Music. There's no lyrics in this. And I've always been this way. I like lyric... Uh, I'm getting confused now. I like music first. Lyrics are secondary. So let's listen, listen to Cambodia. 
I am sinking myself, you see. Now, but I can absolutely see where somebody who's pretty pop oriented and that's what they like and that's what they listen to and their and lyrics, you know, I want to know what they're saying. You would hate this. It's like, it's all just a whole bunch of confusing drumming and guitaring and weird sounds. <laughs> I get it. But coming from my angle, I hope I'm not just <laughs> confusing matters instead of oh, trying to right a wrong. I wanted to play guitar when I was a kid. So there's that. I was always interested in the, the sounds of things. And just for those of you who are interested, uh, I'm pretty sure this is Bill Collins, but Bill Collins did drums for this band a lot. Now be honest in the comments, you know, those of you who uh, watch this. Do you hate this? It's too confusing? It's horrible? How come there's no lyrics? I guess I could have used I could have used other chemicals as an example. I could have used a ton of people, but I just found this just like. This is where I'm at, this is where I come from. there needs to be, but there doesn't always have to need to be a variety in the song, not just to do the whole thing. And if you're a guitar head, kind of like I am, Rush, for instance. Lyrics going on in Rush. Fine. I like Rush. Now besides, I wanted to do some. <laughs> I did a Brand X way back months ago. I think. Pretty sure I did. date on this. This is from the 80s. Could possibly be late 70s. I'm not sure. Let's see if it says. They're very varied in their music. Now you might say, well, so is Morrissey, so is the, the Smiths. I don't know them very well. I'm just doing this to try to defend myself. <laughs> in a good way. So that was just a simple, small, one in a million examples I could have used, kind of where I come from. There it is. Now, there was a mix of music, right? The Smiths, The Queen is Dead, from, I believe, The Queen is Dead album, correct me if I'm wrong, and Cambodia, Brand X, from the album Do They Hurt, from 1980. We did figure that out. I'm not sure about that. Let me see if that says. I, No, it does not say. Um, but that's it, folks. I just wanted to do that quickly uh, because, uh, and that was for you, Oscillate Wildly. Hopefully we can 
still communicate and let me know what you think about that and if I'm crazy and <laughs> the rest of the world is going awry. All right, I'm going to make another video. Not sure what I'm going to do, but uh, it'll be something different than what I just did. This was a long one, I think, folks. Yeah, it was. All righty, gang. Come back and see us again sometime.